Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details Webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Uh, more information can be found at bookmap.com. Uh, the um, product comes along with an educational course. And uh, in that educational course, it's, it's four parts. Okay, each each part is one hour long, uh, and uh, and then we um, we back up that content in the live market. Okay, every day after this webinar. So uh, uh, this web uh, the advanced order flow webinar uh, will start uh, in another like 28 minutes or so. Uh, and uh, uh, let's see, I'll uh, I'll give the link to you guys as well so that uh, uh, you can. Uh, uh, attend so just a moment here okay there you go so uh, I click on that and you can register for it uh, and um, and then we can see you there at uh, at 11 Eastern all right um, okay so uh, let's uh, take a look at bookmap.com here and just want to go through it uh, quickly with you. Okay, the, the website here, uh, you'll see the uh, the intro video here uh, about information about bookmap.com uh, for U.S. equities through NASDAQ Total View. I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, and then connectivity. Okay, so what what is bookmap? Uh, we are a um, visualization software trading platform. Okay. Uh, you can, uh, uh, well, we're not a data provider, okay? We're a software platform. So uh, you can see some other platforms up here as well, like uh, uh, NinjaTrader, uh, TTX Trader Pro, and Interactive Break Brokers Workstation. We are a platform as they are. Um, you can connect via the API of these platforms if you like. Uh, however, we prefer that you connect uh, just like uh, any other platform using the data feed directly from like CQG or Rhythmic, Gain, uh, IQ Feed or Transact or Dev Experts. So this Dev Experts here uh, is, uh, is for the um, U.S. equities, okay? So you can get all U.S. equities uh, with that NASDAQ total view, right? It's a great data feed. It's a total depth of market, low latency. Um, so uh, re really good uh, uh, data feed. I think you'll enjoy it. Um, all right, so uh, let's go down a bit further here. The the, plat, the the packages that are available, you can get Bookmap monthly or yearly, and you get the discount here. Uh, and then uh, you can see there's two versions, digital and global. Uh, and um, uh, with digital, it's free here, no credit card. But you, uh, what all you get though is, um, I mean, you get a full version of Bookmap, right? And you get real time uh, free connectivity to the GDAX. Um, exchange. So what that allows you to do is um, uh, view the um, uh, one digital currency. Okay, that's what you get with this free version. All right. So you can check out uh, Bitcoin, for example, uh, in uh, in real time. Okay, and you get the full version of Bookmap, um, and uh, you can trade uh, from the Bookmap chart, but only in simulation. Uh, you can't record your data though. Uh, you only get basic uh, education. Uh, and then you also get uh, limited support, all right? So it's free, that's what you get, uh, but you really get to, to try it out here. Uh, the digital plus uh, that you see here, okay? So th that's uh, uh, $37 per month. Um, you get um, uh, up to 20 uh, uh, digital currencies at, uh, at one time that you can subscribe to. You can record and replay that data. Uh, and then, um, uh, Let's see the ah, you get the advanced uh, education uh, as well as the um, uh, one-click trading, so you can trade right from the bookmap chart uh, in the live market. Okay, the global version. What this does here, uh, it includes everything in Digital Plus, uh, except that um, uh, you, it supports uh, futures and U.S. equities. Okay, so you can connect to all of these different uh, uh, data providers here for your futures and for U.S. equities. Uh, and you can see it's $49 per month. All right, the Global Plus uh, is futures and equities. 
but it comes with a, uh, a host of um, uh, add-on indicators here. Okay, you can click uh, one-click trading live from the chart here, uh, and uh, you can see the large lot tracker uh, and uh, uh, imbalance indicator, iceberg uh, tracker, and correlation tracker. Okay, uh, these uh, indicators are proprietary that we put together uh, for understanding the order flow. So not only are we understanding the order flow, we're starting to identify larger players like the large lot tracker, okay, or iceberg orders. Okay, larger players using iceberg orders to disguise their high liquidity. Uh, and you can see that's $99 per month. Okay. A uh, few links down below here. If you need a data feed, you can get a 14-day trial here if you click here. I uh, can't decide which plan is right for you. You can see the complete list here, and you can also see our FAQs uh, section here. Okay, uh, social media, uh, you can f uh, follow us here on Twitter, uh, at bookmap underscore pro, uh, and look at uh, all sorts of information here. Um, and uh, then uh, the um, uh, YouTube page, all right? So uh, if you're new here, uh, well, or want to uh, visit or revisit uh, any of the information here, we have many videos. Uh, you can uh, look at some of the intro videos here in the playlist. You click on the playlist heading, uh, features and components playlist, uh, and then order flow video snippets playlist. All right. Okay, the um, order flow video snippets, uh, it, it's not so much about the platform. It's about what it is showing you. Okay, so we're looking at phenomena here. Uh, and uh, uh, you're looking at, uh, these are very concise videos. They're very short, uh, and they start to, um, uh, uncover a lot of uh, order flow phenomena that uh, a book map uh, really clearly visualizes. And this is what's going to give you an advantage in, in your trading here, okay, by uh, uh, uncovering that phenomena. All right. Um, all right. So that's that. Uh, let's see. You guys have the link to the um, uh, advanced uh, order flow webinar there. It's in the chat. Um, there's some more people who've joined in here, so I'll, I'll paste it in again. So you can click on that and join us at 11. Uh, and then let me get to a few questions here right off the bat. So Lawrence, uh, nice to see you again, Lawrence. Um, let's see. Um, oh, I'm sorry. You know, I don't have the bonds. Um, it's the slowest market. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, uptick and down tick. Yeah, unfortunately, I do not have access to the bonds. Well, actually, I might be able to get it. Um, okay, if you don't mind, Lawrence, let's let's do it um, at eleven, uh, and I'll I'll load that uh, data feed. I'll I'll end this this um, uh, webinar a bit short, and I can load that data feed, and we can go over that. Okay, uh, it'll be good for everybody as well, I, I think. Um, Okay, sounds good, Lawrence. All right, thanks. Um, let's see, uh, Edson. Um, no, data is data is a, a you'll need to provide that, uh, and it's um, uh, uh, depends on the broker uh, who you connect with, uh, etc. Uh, but that will be an added fee. Yep. So a lot of brokers, though, you know, they they may offer it for free. Um, you know, others, uh, you know, you need to pay, okay? So, uh, for example, S5, I think uh, you, you get your uh, OEC data from Gain Capital uh, for free, okay? But you'll, you'll need to, to open up a, a broker uh, or account with, the, with them, okay? Uh, other other uh, uh, brokers, they'll, they'll charge you for that, for that data, okay? All right. Well, let's take a look here uh, at uh, at Bookmap and uh, see what's going on. Okay. Um, well, we're down below the 2600 figure here, as you can see. Uh, it's been some really big uh, down days here, uh, no question about that. Um, but uh, it's been good to see as well uh, a little bit of a shakeout from this just you know day after day of uh, uh, you know. Uh, new new highs and uh, uh just seems like it was very complacent uh in that in the marketplace so uh, uh good to see some volatility come back in here 
all right? Especially for us as uh, as day traders, so it's, it's fantastic. Um, okay, so let's take a look at this S and P uh, and what's going on here. Uh, and um, uh, I am just going to go through some of the basics here for you guys, and then we'll get in. You have the link for the advanced order flow webinar, so uh, um, we will uh, we'll get into more advanced concepts uh, in in a little bit here. Um, but uh, what we're looking at here in Bookmap, all right? So. Uh, all sorts of stuff happening, uh, as you can see, the heat map is all lit up here with high liquidity uh, on the uh, on the offer as well as on the bid, uh, and we're starting to identify larger players here right off the bat. Uh, look how this high liquidity in here. Uh, you can see that uh, uh, you know large lot tracker here is showing that, uh, for example, up here at, at 2601, these 335 contracts. It's the highest, uh, or pretty close to the highest in the book here. Um, and uh, one player is holding more than half of it, like 60% of that liquidity. Now, in this market, you know, that's not a lot. Um, it, it's uh, in, in general. Um, but you can see, look at the liquidity here in the book. Okay, we're, we're in the hundreds here. Uh, it's starting to, to perk up a little bit, but it's still lower than average. Okay. Uh, usually we see higher liquidity is around 800 to 1200, something like that. And instead the highest is around 350. Okay. So we're, you know, it's like, you know, four times, uh, uh, uh smaller. Uh, anyway, um, but we want to note that, okay, because, uh, we're seeing uh, lots of price movement due to that lack of liquidity. Okay. And that's just, uh, equals volatility. All right, um, so the um, let's go through the basics here. What, what are we seeing? Well, obviously it continues to the downside and testing through these high areas of liquidity here. Um, and uh, for those of you who are new here, all right, um, and uh, just a few guys that it look like uh, fresh faces here. So uh, uh, this is um, the, the heat map that you see here is derived from the limit order book. Okay, so look at the 600, you know, contracts here on the uh, on the best offer or on the offer. Uh, so we're about to test them too. Okay, and look at the appetite for that. The buyers took them on. Okay, let's just get up here a little bit higher and uh, let's see if there's buyers and we can come up and test this uh, higher liquidity up here at 29 uh, at 25.90. Okay. Uh, but we're we're not up there yet. We need to see more buyers up here. Anyway, what we're showing here in this in the heat map, uh, you can see um, it just got yellow in here, pretty high liquidity, okay, at 85. Okay, uh, we're taking these numeric values here in the order book in your dome, uh, and then uh, we are um, uh, recording it. Okay, uh, and then uh, we are um, recording it in this window here. Uh, the live window, okay, and then um, uh, when these numbers change, it'll be reflected in the heat map. So here, there was a very low liquidity, and then all of a sudden they jumped in here, okay, and provided high liquidity. Okay, so uh, that's all it is. It's just a record, a recording of the uh, the liquidity. So not only is it the recording of the transactions here uh, in the uh, in the dome, I, I sorry, like in in the market. Uh, uh, that's usually what we're um, uh, viewing is the, uh, uh, you know, just the transactions. We don't we don't see a lot of the uh, uh, liquidity here, except for in the dome. And when these numbers change, it's gone, right? Instead, now we have a recording of it, and you can see uh, where they're bidding and offering. Okay, it gives us tremendous insight here uh, to uh, to what's going on. Uh, and uh, understanding like these areas here, are they filling, are larger players absorbing, um, all sorts of uh, uh, information to uh, derive from this. Uh, we get into that in the in the advanced order flow uh, videos, okay, or webinars. And um, uh, so we'll just go through the basics here, all right? So we've defined the heat map here. We know what it is. Uh, we, we can see that um, uh, there's these dots here. These are transactions. Okay, that have occurred uh, in the uh, uh, in the market, and we continue to sell off here pretty hard, right through, right into these areas of high liquidity. Okay, um, and um, 
uh, we're going to get a snap back here. If these guys, if larger players are absorbing all the way down here, you're going to watch. Okay. And uh, we're going to see that uh, larger players uh, that um, uh, we're going to, they're, there's going to, they're going to absorb all of the selling pressure and buyers are going to step in here and you're going to get this nice, nice move to the upside and probably really quick move uh, in this kind of environment due to, uh, you know, short squeezes. Uh, people will be bailing pretty quickly uh, and covering uh, and you get these really, really quick spikes to the upside. Very indicative of this kind of um, uh, volatile market. Okay. Anyway, uh, we don't see it yet. Uh, and we'll read it, um, but uh, uh, we're, we're continuing to trend pretty pretty severely here to the downside. Okay, nice cluster of selling as well, uh, and um, uh, we'll just uh, continue to uh, uh, trade down into where the market can trade and transact, and that's where the liquidity is. Okay. All right. So. Um, Let's just go through these three elements and then we'll wrap it up here. Um, uh, what we're looking at here uh, in book map, okay, I cover this liquidity heat map. Uh, it's just the um, a rec recording of the uh, of the dome uh, and understanding the uh, uh, where they're bidding and offering, okay? It's an auction, okay? And we're witnessing that auction and we can see the behavior in that auction uh, in the record here, okay? It's the evolution of that uh, of that auction. Okay, uh, historical uh, view of it. All right, so um, now let's uh, we'll turn on our candlestick here, uh, and then uh, we'll take off the rest of this data here because there's there's three elements on this chart uh, that uh, are giving all this all this insight here, and uh, let's just go through uh, what it is here uh, and um, uh, define it in a more simplistic manner. Um, okay, here we go. Okay, so it's a five-minute candlestick chart, just open high, low, and close of uh, uh, of a time period, right? Uh, problem with this here is the aggregation, okay? This bar represents five minutes, but what happened within that bar is what we want to know, okay? We want to understand all sorts of data here, okay? And that's, what, that's the problem with this candlestick chart. So uh, if I turn on the historical best bid and offer, okay, we're going to see the um, uh, microstructure here, okay, because it's not aggregated data, okay. So, for example, between these two candles here, it just looks like it went down and then went down right again. Well, that that's not true, okay. It went down and it went sideways here for a bit, okay, and then it broke this microstructure uh, and then it went down. We actually get some retests back uh, into this this area here, okay. Uh, this is very typical. Uh, it, it's to test or see if we, uh, uh, you know, if we're going to stay down below this this trading range right here. Okay, this range from uh, uh, this um, uh, 84 and three quarters to uh, uh, 89 or, or 90 up here. Okay, well here's our break from it, and here's this little retest right back up here. Okay, so let me uh, draw in that because I'll, I'll, I can show this to you. Okay, this is where we broke from here. Look at the retest right here. Okay, we don't see any of that in the candlestick here. Okay, these are great little areas to, uh, if we're going to uh, accept down lower uh, and you're bearish down here, these are great little areas to for that pullback and look for continuation of the trend. All right, that's the kind of insight that the, the microstructure gives you, okay, where the candlestick just doesn't. All right, now let's turn on the volume. And um, where is the volume? Here we go. Okay, so that was one element. This is the second element here, okay, the volume dots. And uh, what we're showing here, let's zoom into this area. Okay, uh, and uh, we're just showing you right here, historical best bid and offer, okay. Uh, that's that microstructure. The green line is the best bid, the red line is the best offer. Uh, and then you see these green dots. Okay, these are aggressive market buy orders. Okay, someone hit the market buy button and they took liquidity off of the best offer. Okay, that was provided here in the book, in that in that limit order book. All right, so they took the liquidity. Okay, they didn't provide it. Uh, and that's why it's the aggressor. Okay, they didn't wait. 
uh, they crossed the spread and paid up for it to get in uh, with a market buy. Uh, a red dot is a market sell. Uh, and that's a, the very basic two elements that we're showing here. All right. Now, um, as I zoom out, though, well, let's zoom back in because uh, I want to show you that uh, uh, every single transaction here is recorded. As I zoom in here, we can see that it's all broken down into uh, um, really every single market event. Okay. But note how as I zoom back out, I'm going to, you know, bookmap re records this or aggregates that dot into a bigger dot. Okay. And it gives us the, the, the volume here. Okay. So for that bigger dot, this is actually constitutes 148 contracts. All right. So quite a bit here. Uh, whereas this little dot here is just one. Okay. That, that was one lot that traded here. That was it. And you can see that the bigger dot uh, refers to the um, uh, uh, more trading here. Okay. If I bring up the, the dot size, you can see that a little clearer. Okay, so that's it. Uh, but uh, we can read this now uh, to our benefit, okay, and start to understand microstructure and how the volume's trading within that microstructure. Okay, those are those two elements. Okay, uh, however, uh, there's one more element that's uh, pretty critical here to understand, and that is the uh, the auction the limit, the uh, the dome here. Okay. And as I detailed earlier, that dome, that's a problem with um, it being here in the uh, your, your traditional depth of market uh, window, uh, because um, uh, once these number change, once these numbers change, that data is lost. Okay. Instead here, we can see what's going on. Okay. Um, Is S5 a broker like Norman Trading? Uh, yeah, just um, Edson. I would say just reach out to them. Uh, they'll they'll be um, they're they're great guys. Uh, they'll be happy to help you over there. Okay. So just go to s5trading.com or so it's it's something like that or maybe it's stage5trading.com. Um, anyway, you'll you'll find it. Um, all right. So um, uh, anyway, uh, we're noticing, we noticed this earlier. Look at all of this absorption here. And we were starting to uh, um, uh, look for this kind of snapback that was going to occur here. Well, here it is. Okay. We're getting it. Uh, and uh, in, a, in a big way here. All right. So uh, uh, this was, uh, uh, why, did I, why did I think that this was going to happen? All right. Well, just because they're, they're absorbing all of this. Okay, uh, it's going to take all of that selling pressure, uh, and uh, uh, finally, what's going to happen here uh, is, um, uh, you know, there can only be so many sellers. If if they continue to absorb here uh, on the uh, on the best bid, uh, well, then uh, you know, buyers are going to step in on the other side and uh, start to move this higher. Okay, and we can see that uh, as we were breaking down here very quickly, we've come back right back up very quickly, uh, just the same. Okay. We want to understand this data. It's really under uh, important, uh, and um, uh, it leads to understanding these kinds of reversals here, for example, or at least this uh, uh, squeeze to the upside. All right, guys. Well, uh, we'll go through more detail here in the advanced order flow webinar. Uh, I pasted it in there for you. Uh, here it is again. If you came in late, uh, so uh, uh, we'll see you over there, uh, and uh, in just a few minutes. Okay? All right. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.